bubbles that are filled. Look at that. Woo! It up. Woo! And grab one right out of the air. What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, 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 magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you 10 amazing magic tricks with bubbles. They float, you can pop them. I mean, I get it. I get it. So if you're ready, pop that thumbs up button for me and let's go. Okay, this one is the magic miracle bubble trick. Check it out. Okay, so you're gonna take some bubbles, dip the wand in, and grab one right out of the air. And it becomes completely solid. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I will teach you how it's done right now. Okay, so here's what you'll need. Some bubble solution and one of these. This is a hard plastic marble type ball thing. I'm actually giving away five of these for free at the end of the video to five lucky viewers, so stay tuned if you want to win. But here's how we do this. We start with this concealed in our hand just like this, and then once you blow some bubbles, you grab one out of the air, and all you're doing is popping it out of your hand into those two fingers. And that is how you do the magic miracle bubble trick. Watch. This one you're gonna need some smoke or vapor. I'm using someone's e-cig here, I don't vape or smoke, and I don't recommend you do either. But for demonstration purposes, here's how it's done. Catch a bubble just like that, and then you tap the top. You're gonna tap inside the bubble wand and you're gonna break the bubble right there. And it's gonna shoot that vapor or that smoke right up out of it and look like a volcano. Hence the name, the volcano bubble. Okay, so for this one you're gonna take two bubbles and watch. One, two, three, and it becomes one bubble. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a cool underwater bubble trick. This is called the underwater bubble ring. Here is a performance of me attempting to do it. Now here's a performance of someone else doing it a lot better than I can. So the secret to this is you just take a bunch of air in your mouth and then when you're at the bottom of the pool you get completely level horizontal with the bottom of the pool and then let all of the air out of your mouth at once like it makes a big bubble and it turns into a ring. And that is how you do the magic underwater bubble ring trick. Okay so for this one you're going to take your magic miracle bubble from before and you're going to make it grow into a giant bubble. Let's check it out. So we're going to take it, set it in the grass just like this, set it down, we're going to take a trash can, nothing inside, and set it over top of the bubble, wait. Uh -huh. And it turns into a giant bubble. <laughs> okay, so this is what you need for your giant bubble magic trick. You need a giant wobble bubble. This is not a paid sponsorship or a brand endorsement or anything like that. The other thing you need is your same magic trick bubble from before. So now Ava and I are going to do an unboxing of the new Super Wubble Bubble. The newest version. First observation, this thing is very well sealed up. Pump, and the Wubble Bubble. Wubble Lubricant. Wow, it feels so weird. Does it? Feel it, man. Yeah, it's like a jelly or something. Does it smell bad? You also need a Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew this battery door on your pump. Lefty loosey righty tighty. Correct. Tighten your battery case back down. Okay, so now you're gonna take your wubble lube. Gonna lube up your wubble hole. Gonna take your wubble nozzle and insert it down into the wubble hole. Attach your pump. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, you have a giant real life bubble. Alright guys, so for this one, you're going to take two things that don't normally mix with each other, fire and water, and you're going to combine them. This is how you make fire bubbles. Check it out. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to take some bubble solution, pour it into a tray just like this, and then you're going to take some butane. Be very, very careful if you're a kid, adult supervision obviously. You're going to take the butane, put it down in the solution, slowly press down. 
and you'll start creating some butane bubbles. Now what it's doing is it's forcing the butane gas out of the can and it's getting trapped inside of the bubbles, just like that. Now once you've got the bubbles created, you take a lighter, those things will light up just like that. Come up on your hand and check this out. You can light them up and they will not burn you. The butane burns off so quickly that it leaves your skin completely unharmed. Light it. Just like that. So for this one, you're gonna make someone a bet that you can make a bubble inside of a bubble. Check it out. Okay, so you're gonna need a straw. You're also going to need a table and some bubble solution. You're gonna pour right there on the table. Now here's what you're gonna do. Take a straw, insert it into your bubble solution, blow from the other end. Okay, so you've got your first bubble there on the table. Your next step is to dip your straw in the bubble solution again. which coats the outside of the straw and allows it to pass right through that bubble without breaking the surface tension. Now, now you simply blow on the other end of the straw again. And you get a bubble inside of another bubble. So that is a fun bubble challenge that you can do with your friends and family so you can get the most bubbles inside of bubbles. It does take some practice. <laughs> All right guys, for this one, we're gonna do something really cool. We're gonna make glow in the dark bubbles. You ready? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Okay, so here's what you'll need. You'll need some highlighters, a black light bulb, some bubble solution, and a bubble wand. Also need something to dismantle the highlighter. Grab the back of it, pull. That little plug will come right out. Your next step is to take the little ink stick out of the highlighter. Then we're gonna take some bubble solution, pour it in a beaker, and now we're going to squeeze the highlighter juice, the ink, out of this little ink tube. Mix it up a bit. Okay, now that you've got your highlighter solution mixed, it's time to cut the lights and make some magic glow-in-the-dark bubbles. And just like that, you've got glow-in-the-dark bubble solution. Look at that. The glow in the dark bubble. Look at it glow. This looks like nuclear slime or something. Whoa, look at my hands. Groovy. That is what makes the highlighter and the bubble solution light up like that. That's what's making Ava's shirt glow. And that is how you do the magic glowing bubbles trick. All right guys, for this magic trick, we're gonna make it to where we can touch bubbles without popping them. Let's take a look. All right, Ava, I want you to try to catch this bubble with your bare hands, okay? Okay. It just popped. Wouldn't it be cool if I could make it to where you could touch a bubble? Mm -hmm. Put these gloves on. It's not cold. That's true, it's not cold. <laughs> these gloves will let you magically handle bubbles. <gasps> Whoa. That's awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. I that was the coolest thing ever. It rolled on the floor and I could roll it and I could pick it up. That was so awesome. And if you're really lucky, you can catch one on your bare skin, just like that. Definitely a thumbs up for me for this one. <laughs> With the gloves. And that is how you magically touch bubbles without popping them. And if you look inside here, you have a square bubble look. You see it? You have to focus on that? It's hard to focus on. It's right there in the middle, square bubble. So everyone knows how to blow bubbles with one of these things, but I'm gonna show you how to make a giant bubble maker at home with stuff you probably already have. Okay, this is how you make giant bubbles. You're gonna need two dowel rods about this size, string and a washer, and obviously some bubble solution. Let's have some fun. Okay, so your first step is to take some bubble solution. You're gonna pour it in some type of tray. I'm using the top to like a cooler. So we take a length of string a few feet long. We're gonna tie it on the dowel rods just like this. Okay, so you wanna have your string tied on just like this. So it makes a nice loop. And now you're gonna dip it down here in your bubble solution. Oh. Let's go. Cool. And that is how you make magic giant bubbles. Okay, so this is how you make a dry ice bubble maker. Some hot water, some bubble solution, a fish tank vacuum cleaner. Looks like this right here. Come on. That's not mine. Kind of weird looking. Uh, it's got this tube on the end and it's got this chamber thing. Fill up with hot water and dry ice. Next thing you need is some dry ice. And I've got some dry ice right here. 
actually really, really cold. So the last thing you need is something to plug the end of this chamber. And I actually found the top to these bubbles fits perfectly in the end of this chamber. I'm gonna pour this hot water in here and this thing is instantly going to start smoking. It's gonna look really cool. There we go. And you get a dry ice bubble maker. And just like that, you stick the end of the tube in your bubble solution and it starts making dry ice bubbles. So another way to make dry ice bubbles is to take some dry ice, put it in a cup, and then you're gonna put some dish detergent in there. Whoa! Can I touch them? Yeah, you can touch them. Whoa! Mommy, come look at this! And it makes dry ice bubbles. Look, it just goes away. Uh-huh. How can it go? So as you can see, the dry ice starts to bubble, which mixes with the dish liquid, which creates these bubbles at the top. And that is how you make magic dry ice bubbles. All right, guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away five of these hard plastic real life bubbles so that you can perform the trick at home. All you have to do to win one is leave your funniest, randomest, craziest comment in the comment section below on this video. Give the video a thumbs up and leave a crazy, funny, random comment so that we can all laugh at it. You can leave as many comments as you want, unlimited comments, just leave a funny, random comment below. And I will pick five comments and I will send you all your very own plastic magic bubble. If you haven't sent us anything in our P.O. box for fan mail, there is a address in the description. Send us artwork, send us letters, send us uh, cool stuff to open. I don't know, send us anything you want. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Even if you're new to YouTube, actually. For the longest time, I just watched people's videos and I didn't like create a YouTube account. If you're new to YouTube, Create an account and subscribe to this channel. I could be the first channel that you subscribe to. That would be cool. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Turn on your notifications so you can be the first to watch new videos as soon as I upload them. Click this box or the link in the description to check out the behind the scenes of this video on my second channel, Evan Era Vlogs. A lot of cool content there that you don't see on Evan Era TV. Come subscribe to Evan Era Vlogs. There is also a link in the description for that and a mobile card. Until next time, you can watch more how-to magic content by clicking up here in the corner. The Evan Era TV shop is coming extremely soon. We're working very hard hard to make it happen and it will be announced right here. All right guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners of the five magic thumb tips are these names right here. Check your YouTube messages. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Leave your comments below. Until next time, thank you for coming back to Evanera TV where anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life.